now reports on an invention that has saved thousands of lives. The final batch of Wolf Flame safety lamps are now being completed at the Sheffield company which has been making them for the last hundred years. The flame lamp is one of the most important inventions in the mining industry, not only providing a safe form of light, but also serving as a methane gas detector, preventing mass explosions. The Wolf Safety Lamp Company was founded in 1880 by William Maurice. His daughter Monica, seen here on the front row and known to all as Miss Maurice, is still chairman of the company. Miss Maurice, who's designed many of the lamps herself, has some horrific stories about how they tested for gas before the invention of the flame lamp. Gas was got rid of by an old man being wrapped in wet sacking and sent into the workings to fire the, the gas and get rid of it that way, to set it on fire. And the old man, what happened to him? Sometimes he survived and sometimes he didn't. Today, times have moved on in the coal industry, and with modern technology, Wolf have decided to discontinue their flame lamps, although Miss Maurice believes they're better than many modern techniques. You can detect gas with various instruments, electronic instruments of one sort and another, but uh, in skilled hands, a flame lamp will tell you things that no electronic instrument will tell you. Hatfield, Maine in Doncaster is just one of the pits that will continue to use their flame lamps for detecting methane gas for many years to come. Wolf believe their future now lies in more modern forms of safety lamps. The flame lamp will eventually be moved on to the museum shelves, but having saved thousands of miners' lives over the past years, it's earned its pride of place in mining history. Yes, flame lamps collect as items now, I suppose, and that was Sarah Dearden on that interesting tale.